Welcome back. A Georgia GOP congressional candidate calling out Facebook after the tech giant removed her campaign ad that was aimed at Antifa. I have a message for Antifa terrorists. Stay the hell out of Northwest Georgia. You won't burn our churches, loot our businesses, or destroy our homes. All right, Facebook says she is inciting violence, but Marjorie Taylor Greene says it's a case of ongoing conservative censorship, and she joins me now to talk about it. Thank you so much for coming on, Marjorie. We appreciate it. Um, tell us how you tell us why you feel this way. Why you feel like you're being censored? Well, you know, we've seen it time after time again where conservative Americans put their thoughts, their feelings, and their expressions and their beliefs on social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, but yet our posts get deleted and we get censored. So when we watched Antifa uh, terrorize America, um, we saw riots, businesses burned, mm. burned um, churches burned, you know, looted, everyday Americans, innocent Americans attacked by these by these criminals and these thugs in the streets night after night after night we started hearing rumors that antifa was going to be coming to our community and we have the right to defend ourselves um, i'm a legal gun owner i have a georgia weapons license um, i'm a business owner i'm also a wife and mom and i have every right to stand there and say do not come and burn our churches, loot our businesses, and destroy our homes. We have our okay. right to defend ourselves, and we have freedom of speech to say so. The Facebook response to this, we remove this ad, which advocates the use of deadly weapons against a clearly defined group of people for violating our policies against inciting violence. Last night, I went to the Facebook page for Antifa International. And I found a video uh, that essentially, about a two-minute video, it shows them basically bragging about how they use physical violence to fight whatever they consider to be fascism. That video still stands this morning on Facebook. What do you make of that? I say Facebook is defending terrorists. They are, they are calling this group of people and saying that I'm inciting violence against, against them, but yet that group of people are terrorists. They are communist basement dwellers who have come out and poured gasoline on a fire and basically hijacked protest and turned it into complete chaos and anarchy in the streets of America, and Facebook is defending them. They're not allowing us, everyday Americans, to defend ourselves. They're choosing the side of anarchist and terrorist. Bill Barr says he has proof that Antifa has been behind some of this, the hijacking of these protests and all the mayhem we saw in this country uh, about a week ago. Uh, let's go to, let's talk about Twitter here for a second. We're going to broaden this out to just basic tech bias. Uh, you know, Twitter got into a lot of hot water for basically clarifying a, a President Trump tweet and also calling it glorification of violence. Um, you can put, we can pull it up here on the screen if we want. Uh, this tweet violates our policies regarding the glorification of violence based on the historical context of the last line, its connection to violence, and the risk it could inspire similar actions today. Twitter, as we flip over to this uh, site, uh, is full of nonsense, yet they only go after the president. What do you make of that? I, I think that uh, we see Facebook and Twitter, they're both the same. You know, they're, yeah. they're so leftist in their beliefs, and the leftists, they, they've become the thought police. They basically declare themselves God and judge us for our thoughts, and it's completely wrong. And, you know, as the leading candidate in my Republican race, and my primary election is tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'm going to work very hard on big tech censorship and stopping it, because you yep. can't censor our speech. We have the freedom of speech. We have the right to say our views and we have the right to stand up for our president we have the right to the right to defend our homes and we can call criminals people that hurt people attack people we can call them thugs okay. and president trump was correct in doing so marjorie taylor green running for congress in northern georgia thank you so much we appreciate it thank you julian thank over you. to you